Hello guys, it is I, Super Tendo Boy, uh, and today, today I just kind of wanted to talk a bit about something. Um, I just have some stuff running in the background, doesn't really pertain much to what I'm talking about, but lately I've been feeling pretty creative, um, and though you might not see that a lot because, you know, I haven't been that active, um, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's put me in a, a bit of a funk, I guess, not, not a bad funk, uh, a rather good mood, a, a creative mood. Um, so I thought I'd talk about something uh, that uh, I, I don't know if I should say people struggle with, uh, but something that I feel like a lot of people uh, haven't realized. I don't know. May maybe this is wisdom. Maybe this is me uh, just, just ranting about some stuff that I made up. Um, but I want to talk about creating things. And when I say creating things, I mean I could be... I mean, pretty much anything, anything you are making from, you know, something that didn't already exist. Um, anyway, so I guess, first of all, I want you to think about some of your favorite art, um, whether it's a video or a movie or a picture, or maybe it's a song that you really like. Um, and when you're enjoying these, do you ever think to yourself, I want to make that, or I wish I could create something like that? And if so, hold on to that thought. In fact, I'm, I'm going to recommend that you write that thought down. You're going to write down, I like this and this. I wish I could create something this, like this and this, like as blunt as that. And just remember that and come back to it later. And if you come back to it later and you think, yeah, that would be great. I encourage you pursue it because I think anyone who wants to create something should go after it. Um, now, it's easier said than done. I know a lot of people, you know, have the argument that, well, you know, I'm not an artist. And I, I mean, I think that's silly. Everyone's an artist in their own right. They're an artist of something. Uh, but, you know, maybe the thing that you're creating is not your forte. Maybe it's something that you, uh, you don't have any experience with. Um, and you know what? That's fine. You want to know why? Because now is the perfect time to learn how to make whatever you want to make. You can go online and you can take a course on it. Or finding someone in your community or somewhere online who already is good at that and would be willing to mentor you. Because there are tons of people out there who are experienced in whatever you want to create. And a lot of them want to go out and help people who are trying to learn it. Um, and so it, it's really about reaching out because nowadays it's so easy to reach out, you know, what with the internet, I, I think you can learn how to do whatever you want, no matter what it is, whether that's make music or make videos or, you know, draw pictures or learn how to write or something like that. So it's really just a matter of having the initiative to put yourself out there and all right, fair enough, you know, you can learn it, but you say, you know, you're awfully busy and I mean that's a fair point too aren't we all busy you know we all have things to do and maybe you know maybe you're a case where you're not busy but in the case that you are you know it's easy to assume well you know I have this focus on this and I don't have time for that and I, I understand that that makes sense and if you need to focus on other things that's that's fair but at the same time whatever you're doing you don't have to spend, you know, a year on it. You don't have to block out, you know, a month where you just do that. If you're really busy, you know, schedule an hour, you know, even an hour every week. Or maybe, you know, if you can manage it, maybe 20, 30 minutes every day. Something as simple as that. Or even if you're just so incredibly busy, just set aside a day in a, in a single month that you'll focus on that. And if you set that date ahead of time and you mark your calendar and you stick to it and you do it on that day, you will get there. Yes, it will take longer, but that's okay. That way you're still able to be, you know, busy whether you want to or not. And you're still able to pursue this dream of creating this thing that seems so far off and intangible. And honestly, it's just like, you know, finding out how to do it. It's a matter of initiative taking action because you can do it, there is time, you just have to find that time.
not only do you maybe need to learn how to do it, maybe you need to set aside time, but along with those things, you have to realize you're probably going to be terrible at it for a while. And that's okay. Um, everyone is always terrible at, you know, something when they first start. I mean, of course, you can say you have a talent, which is fine. But w with most things, especially something that you have to go out and teach yourself or, you know, have someone else teach you, you're going to be bad at it at first. And the nice thing about not being so good at first means that you can try new things. You can experiment, you know, mess around. It isn't your job. You're not paid to do it. Nobody's, you know, forcing you to do it. You know, it's something that you want to create. It's something that you want to try. So I don't know. Experiment. You know, if you're, if you're making, you know, music, try a different genre. Try something that, you know, technically, you know, breaks the rules a little bit. Or, you know, if you're, if you're drawing something or you're making a video or something, uh, see how, you know, wacky you can make it or, or see if you can, you know, try to replicate a, a, a certain style of someone else uh, that you really admire that, you know, may be a little out of your skill set, maybe something that's a little more advanced or a little, little crazy. Uh, experiment, you know, and it's going to be bad. And you know what? Laugh and move on. Like, be happy that you failed. Be happy that it isn't great because you tried and you tried your best and you had this goal in mind and from that you learned something and now you can rest and you can move on and you can try again and you can do it differently and that's the beautiful thing about creating is it starts with the inspiration of somebody else's work and then through the process of trying to reach their work a lot of times, you develop your own and you fall in love with your own style and your own ways of doing things. And now you have this, this brand new passion that stemmed from someone else's passion that you watched and said, wow, that, that was amazing, you know? Another thing I wanna know is Whatever you're making doesn't have to be serious. Just because you're passionate about it and just because you're putting all this time into it, it can be silly. You can make something really goofy or really absurd. You can make, you know, a hilarious, you know, rehash of something else that exists. You can, you know, be making memes. Maybe that's your passion is, you know, creating absurd, crazy things. And that's okay, you know? It's it's still something that you care about that you're you're passionate about and it don't let anyone tell you that just because you know you put so much time into it and just you know you care so much about it doesn't mean it has to be serious or it has to make money or it has to be important um because when it comes down to it creating things for me is is one of the most rewarding things and I know a lot of what I've said in this video is uh, is generic like you know motivation like you can do it just try but the reason why I decided to make this video um, is because I wanted to talk about creation and creating things because if you haven't ever taken on a large you know original creation project if, if you've never created something um, when, when you finish it, it is, it is an extremely satisfying feeling that you can't compare to anything else because at the beginning you had nothing and now you have something and it is yours and you made it and you can share it to the world and the world will love it. But when it comes down to it, if you want to create something, there is a way you can create it. There is an outlet and I want you to go out and do it because I promise you, if you follow through, it will be worth it. On that note, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a bit out of the norm, but hey, I'm creating something. I like to take risks, so let me know. And you know, besides just let me know what, what you thought of this video, also, let me know. In, let me know in the comments. What, what do you want to create? Love you all, 
And uh, as always, have yourself a wonderful day.